This is the first of a series of lectures on section 2.5 entitled Other Forms of Induction. And in this lecture we introduce the principle of complete induction and the well-ordering property of the natural numbers. Just as for the principle of mathematical induction, these are both properties that are possessed by the natural numbers, and both are useful for proving various results about the natural numbers. Here is the statement of the principle of complete induction. We're going to use the acronym PCI to refer to the principle of complete induction. So we let S be a subset of the natural numbers, and we suppose that it has the following two properties. We suppose that 1 is an element of S, and for every natural number n, if we know that the set of natural numbers from 1 up to n minus 1 is a subset of S, then we're able to deduce that n is an element of S. So if S has those two properties, then the principle of complete induction says that S is equal to n. So let's compare the principle of mathematical induction with the principle of complete induction. Both require the basis step that 1 be an element of S. The principle of mathematical induction says that a natural number is in S provided we know that its immediate predecessor is an element of S, whereas the principle of complete induction says that N is an element of S provided we know that all of its predecessors are in S. So we should use principle of complete induction only if you're not able to get away with using the principle of mathematical induction. In other words, if the inclusion of an element in S follows from the inclusion of a few of its predecessors rather than just its immediate predecessor, then you would use PCI rather than PMI. But if you know that the inclusion of an element in S follows as a consequence of its immediate predecessor, then you would just simply use PMI. The other property of the natural numbers that I want to bring to your attention is known as the well-ordering property of the natural numbers. And it's very simply stated. It says that every non-empty subset of the natural numbers has a smallest element. It's very simple to state, and it seems like a completely obvious property that the natural numbers has. Um, it seems like a, a much more elementary property than the principle of mathematical induction and the principle of complete induction, but actually it turns out that it's equivalent, uh, it's logically equivalent to the other two. What I mean by that is that one can prove the following theorem. Any one of the following properties of the natural numbers can be used to prove the other two properties hold. Principle of mathematical induction, principle of complete induction, and the well-ordering property of the natural numbers. In other words, if we only assumed that we knew the well-ordering property of the natural numbers, we could prove that the principle of complete induction holds, and we could prove that the principle of mathematical induction holds. Um, or if, if we just um, said, okay, we know that the principle of mathematical induction holds, we could then use that to prove the principle of complete induction holds and the well-ordered property of the natural numbers holds. So this is a theorem that I'll show you why it's true later on, but uh, I think for the, for the next several lectures we should just get used to using the principle of complete induction and the well-ordering property of the natural numbers.